So this is a TX999 and we're going to work here an Xbox chip. As you see first we take the time to insulate around the chip and why the captain tape there the reason is very simple the insulation is going to reflect a little so we make little angles here so the reflection is the less to the top and the most to the bottom of the chip and the captain tape is non-reflective protective tape so we're going to protect all the other parts that are around and we don't need to use that heat that is coming from the top at all so and also we already add flux around the corners one to prevent burning second to lubricate and third to spread the heat around that part what are we going to do here first we're going to do preheating So as any other Dragon Group China machine, you have a set and current temperature. Current means what you are right now. This machine is off. So the current temperature is there and it's showing what the machine has right now. When I set my machine, then I turn it on, he approve and then he's going to start heating. That's my current temperature there. Remember to make a radiant. So we're going to start heating 150. When we reach 150, I'm going to set more to 180. When I reach 180, I'm going to turn off the top heater and then I'm going to go to 200 in bottom heater. I'm going to leave it there a little bit and then I'm going to start doing the same with my top heater starting in 180 then 200. So remember our thermocouple here is in the center of the center bottom heater plate and that's the one that should be in that chip we have here the center of our top infrared tube system with a laser pointer in there in the chip that will tell you that the center of the heating is there we have a very nice and safe tube system for this machine What's the difference between this machine and the TA-70A? There are very important differences. First, preheating. We have here a full system and bigger preheating plates. Each one is going to give you 300 watts. So you have a powerful 900 watts preheating in total in this. Second, and very important, this top heater is made from infrared pipes or tubes that are mostly technology that we bring from the infrared ovens. This technology is safer because it's not so intense in the in the middle and less intense in the in the sides like the TA78, but it's even in the heating because the tubes are producing the same heat all the time in all the tube. So here we got to 150 and we are going to get right now, we set to 180, where we are going to stop, start or top heating. So this is going to continue going up. Another difference is that this top heater is a square, square, the TA-70A is around the top heater, so it will also take a little bit of experience to make that heat goes to the edge of your chips. That also will help you, you do 
some system of insulation with angles like this so that will help you to the corners of your chips another difference very important one is that the and I already mentioned before the TA78 has an infrared direct bulb so the center will be too hot the edges will be a little bit less than that uh, we use that usually the flux around it help a little bit to focus that heat there but also because of that the TA78 will make the job faster but also you can burn a chip faster with the TX999 is a little bit safer. It will take more time. Now we're going to turn up preheater. We're going to start in 180, then we're going to go to 200. We're going to do this uh, bottom heater now. We're going to make it 200 in the top. In any machine that is digital control, you will see the temperature go up and down in one or two cents two seconds or three seconds that's normal because he tries to continue the power then he he has to turn off the power so the thermocouple it will register like a little peak and then will go to the set temperature that you have that's normal in a ta62 ta62 plus plus tx99 ta70 or any machine that you have I mean the peak will go up a little bit then will go down to a set temperature because that means that the heater is being turned off at that moment. So right now we have here our top heater working, our pipes are there. So we are right now in top heater here, going to 200, then we are going to leave it a couple of seconds there, that is like 10-20 seconds there. To enforce that heat and then we're going to start our last temperature ramp is going to be to release the chip so we're going to be very careful about this last one because it's when our chip is released with our BGI tool remover we don't push it we just let the machine work and check when the chip is going to be lifted and then if you see that flux there is going to prevent overheating and also it's going to help you to get the all the temperature to the edges So here we have and after five minutes on the heat is now cooling off and we have here now where I put it that we have good light all parts are there only need to roll it and that's done so we clean the chip with a DGC 939 soldering iron some uh, thin line some flux the flux is to avoid bubbles and all that then you use some cetone and on here we have 0.6 volts and universal net 0.6 uh, the new Xbox, the 250G, we just did this exercise because we wanted to know which stencil or net is going to be used to solve this. If have a problem, we saw also that has a very, very hard metal plate on top of the chip to protect it. So it will take around 30 degrees more in the machine or one centimeter less on the top heater. To, to remove this chip. Also, remember to be very, very, very careful when you push the chip with your extractor because you can break the corners of the 
bore pads so that's very important to and use your vacuum pen so here we have and then we're going to put back the chip but again this is just made with a new Xbox 250G and is very well protected it has a clamp and it has a metal plate on top of it but we wanted to use the TX999 in the hardest Xbox chip we can find that is this one so that's it this is Dragon Group China this again is a safe machine the chip we got it out with no bubbles no problems so stay tuned for more videos and remember buy original machines